got very nice weather. I don't know what you look. <laughs> but I said to her, I don't want to make you cry, didn't I? Don't you over? <laughs> I'm not a teacher. I'm not a trained teacher. So. Lovely morning walk in the rain. Yeah. I'll explain more when we get home, but it's very not not very not very nice weather. Good morning everybody. So I'm now back home. Basically I needed to go to Freya's school because we are now home learning. And um, the school have kindly allowed us to borrow a laptop because obviously I'm home learning the other two, so she wouldn't have had a spare device to use for her work so I asked them if we could borrow one and kindly they let us borrow one so I just went I had to go and collect it and so yeah I thought I'd take Freya with me as soon as it's her school and her laptop but anyway we've got that the other two are kick-starting their home learning with a collective worship they've both got to do the same video so I thought I'll sit them both together while I get them some food I need to get a move on I wanted to be all ready this morning I was up at like half past six but just went to pot i think it's that first day and luckily it's not too much to do today um i hope everybody's well we're all in this together remember and yeah i think by the time this is up it's going to be sunday so i hope everyone had a first week if you are home learning because and god knows what the week is gonna have in ta in store for us and um, they're talking about more lockdown so I'm gonna get started for the day <laughs> i think this face says it all doesn't it babe Little Madam has finished her home learning about an hour ago, actually, haven't you? Elsa's just got phonics to do. And I think Freya only has two subjects left as well, considering she started quite late. But one of those includes watching Shrek the Musical, which is like an hour long performance thing. But she's got to make notes. So she'll do that after lunch. I'm going to do some lunch now. It's oh, it's nearly one o'clock. I just made Elsa cry because she was messing around a little bit with her phonics work and I told her she needs to get it done and which made her cry. And usually when she cries, she gets things done. But I said to her, I don't want to make you cry, didn't I? And now we've ended up for snuggles because she's done her phonics. So we're having snuggles in bed. We're going to go and watch Shrek the Musical in a minute for Freya's work, aren't we? Elsa's feeling a bit tired because she was awake in the night. Um... A little bit disrupted at midnight, weren't you? <laughs> so if you type in YouTube, Shrek the Musical Full Broadway DreamWorks Theatricals, it's a two hour long performance. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So I'm definitely I'm going to try and find Hello. some other other hello mm. musical things on youtube because this is so good we're only like 10 minutes in or something we have to keep pause it because even needs a toilet or someone needs a drink or someone needs a snack i just can't wait for theaters to open i don't even remember the last thing i saw in a theater super good and i love you <laughs> whoever you are she can't see oh, you right. you're lying Whoa! oh goodness <laughs> Hi everybody, good morning. I stopped filming yesterday, not for any reason really, I just forgot to pick up the camera. It's sort of snowing outside. We have forecasted snow over the next few days, but I just think it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be that winter wonderland I think I really need for my mood. Yesterday evening, Boris announced another UK national lockdown. So where we live, we've been in a tier four for quite a few weeks now. He has decided to shut down all secondary schools, all primary schools across the UK and he literally gave them like a few hours notice I mean we've already set up for home learning and stuff because obviously we knew that we were in one of the areas that were going to be shut so we've been prepared but for the and I'm sure all the schools have been prepared it was that sudden hang on eight o'clock last night you're not going to school tomorrow you're not going to work tomorrow it all just feels a bit 
I feel like we've gone back to square one, even though there's vaccines on the cards and, you know, the future is looking a little bit more hopeful. Yeah, it just feels a bit unfair um, that we've gone back a step because we're back to where we were in March last year. I have actually woken up feeling very overwhelmed about home learning. Eva's, she's got seven pieces of work and some of those are optional, but they're op the optional ones are things like science and PE. And for me, I'm like, well, science is important. Um, if she doesn't have any science knowledge, when she goes back to school, she's really going to struggle. The pressure is on me to get, to, try not to cry, um, to get everything done so that they have the best education they can at home. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a trained teacher. So I'm going to try and put on a brave face, try and be happy today because I was a bit grumpy yesterday with home learning. So I'm going to try and make this an enjoyable experience. I just want this over. I'm so done. I'm so done with this. I want the girls to be at school, with, surrounded by their friends, surrounded by their teachers and able to have a laugh with human, other humans. It probably would be much, much easier if it was nice weather or even if it was a snow day and we could go out and enjoy it because at the moment it's just drizzly, it's cold and it's gloomy. How are you feeling about it all? Mm? You are fighting with your brother, weren't you? Yes, you are. Having a hard time today, aren't we? I think the feeling of me being overwhelmed is definitely in Eva's mind as well. She's quite overwhelmed today. So she's just got so much work to do. There's like seven pieces. I said it earlier, I think. There's just so much work. You're doing well. We actually kind of gave up on the mask because I was like, I've had enough. Tears are just not worth it. Tears are not worth it. That's it. Okay. I'm tired. I know you're nearly there. We are day three of our home school lockdown. I think it's the, fir the first official day of lockdown. It might have been yesterday. I really have lost track, to be honest. Today, Freya has got her first form call. I don't know what I filmed yesterday. I feel like I didn't film very much at all. It was a really overwhelming day. Eva spent most of the day crying on and off. Um, the workload was far too much. Um, Elsa did really well, to be honest. Um, but anyway, gonna kickstart the day. Hubby's actually got to go and take a walk up into the school today because they're allowing us to, well, they're allowing parents to collect the maths books so they don't have to keep printing out sheets for their maths. They can just do it in the books that they're meant to be, that they would be at school. And we're all given like a time slot depending on when our last name is. So hubby's gonna go up at 2.30 because our time slot's 2.30 to three. And he's the chosen one to venture out most of the time. <laughs> Cats are not liking the fact that it's snowing. They've gone absolutely insane today. It's driving me mad. I've got Elsa on a call, Freya on a call, Eva on a call. <laughs> then we'll start home learning. What is wrong with you two? Hmm? for nachos for their lunch. I don't even know if I've got them because we eat them so often. It's now quarter past one. We're a little bit behind on some of the work. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but we're doing good today. We're le much less, cr much less tears. Is that the right English? I had my mum on Zoom with Eva for her maths lesson and on Zoom for Elsa's writing lesson and I think that really helped them actually. It helped Eva more than Elsa, I think, but took a bit longer than normal, I think. <laughs> and I just ordered a takeaway. We've never ordered from it before and it's just arrived and I'm feeling a little bit worried because of mixed reviews but I'm going to take the cold stuff out because hubby's actually on a court at the moment um, and I don't want to dish up yet until he's ready but it looks quite exciting. There's some extra barbecue sauce. I've got some burgers so hubby's ordered 
what's it say barbecue bacon beef burger with fries and a diet coke and southern fried chicken burger with the diet coke and skin on fries um we had a code so it's sort of it's come to 12 pounds i think something like that very excited for that because i'm starving hubby and i at the moment are watching what we're eating and we're doing like a calorie counting um on fitness plus fitness fitness pal plus so we're counting all of our calories and watching what we've eaten because we've all got a little bit wobbly so this is going to probably send me over my calorie allowance for today but i'm really looking forward to it and it'll be so much better than having a mcdonald's or something delivered because i think this is going to be more filling or i hope it's going to be anyway i just want him to get off his call so i can dish up because i'm really hungry it's now thursday yeah thursday i just honestly don't know what to say this week Zoom calls again, or they're not Zoom, they're Google Classroom calls in about 10 minutes. I actually do quite like that we're homeschooling in the sense that it's given me a purpose, it's given me something to do each day. I'm not just like wandering around like, what do I do? Although, saying that, it's been a really intense week and I would quite like to be able to tidy the house or something. It's, I guess it's just the fact that this is now like my full-time job is educating the children and everything else comes after that. So my blog stuff is coming after it. Cooking is coming like in between where I can slot it in. Um, and also tidying, like I'm looking around me and it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm just completely surrounded by toys and I would quite like to sort all of those things out but yeah I just don't have the time at the moment it'll be a weekend job probably because after homeschooling it's so mentally draining that I just want to sit around you right mister you're always in here oh you're cold have you been outside you're gonna burn yourself on the radiator again learning is now all done for the day freya finished about lunchtime just before lunchtime so she's doing really really well and i've been checking her work online as well to see what she's had been handing in um she's been doing so work well working independently i actually feel quite proud of her eva and else has had much better days still not brilliant but better days than previously it's now half past two so we are on schedule um, I'm going to try and do a little bit of editing this video that you're watching now um, so that I'm trying to stay up to date with it. Are you reading? Oh wait, this one's in the wrong place. This room is such a mess, isn't it? No, you can in. No? It's now nearly eight o'clock. Yes, like seven minutes to eight. It's actually Thursday and they have brought back the clap for the heroes so at eight o'clock we're gonna go out and clap and then i'm gonna get the girls to bed i don't like the girls being up this late because i like to have some time for myself but i think it's really important on a thursday that we join in with this clap because so many people have contributed to this pandemic so it's important to acknowledge just changed my top i forgot to tell you i did a workout with um i've we signed up to the apple fitness plus exercise thing so it like logs your workouts with your watch and stuff lots of apps that have you know exercises and stuff do that but this is like specific to apple and i did a few of their workouts it's the first time i've done a workout in such a long time i don't know what you look that's a clap I'm super tired. It's half past seven. Hubby's awake, showered, and he's about to go to Lidl because they've got some um, bits on Lidl, like release different things each week, and he's keeps an eye on it, and when there's something that he would like, he goes and gets them. That's how he's always been, but he's been a bit reluctant. But this week there is um, kettlebells, like the weight things. And I've wanted them for ages. They were in there like a couple of years ago. And they, I was like, oh, I'll get them. And then we decided not to because realistically back then I wasn't doing exercises. We keep going to bed so late and then obviously got to be up early for the Zoom call things, the Google Classroom calls. Mm. I edited the video yesterday and realised this week is so negative and I'm sorry for that. I feel really bad for it being a negative week. But it is very real. It's real life and... It has been a really tough week. You can sort of see in my face how like drained and mentally exhausted I feel. So tonight I'm going to try and go to bed early, 
and then Saturday is a laying day, so hopefully I'll get lots of extra sleep. I think this week was all about trial and error and getting back into a routine and stuff. Um, hopefully we're going to get out for that walk that I said about yesterday. Today. Obviously, please excuse the absolutely horrendous mess behind me in my bedroom. This jumper my mother-in-law bought me for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It's obviously from Superdry. It's the softest thing and I'm just scared to wash it because I don't want it to turn not soft anymore. We were doing part of super dry stuff in the tumble dryer so they always come out a little bit crispy. But yeah, this is this is me right now wearing a legging that has a hole in because this is my home leggings and I don't mind if they get like destroyed. Can't be bothered at the moment. I haven't even got makeup on again. I just feel just so, why do I need to have makeup on? I feel sorry for Hubby, to be honest, having to see me like this. Anyway, um, Hubby should be home soon. Freya's in the shower and gonna kick start homeschool with a Google Classroom call. I have two things to say. I'm going on a bike ride and thank oh. you for setting my work. <laughs> you what is going on? <laughs> he still doesn't want to get down until like very late at night. Freya just had a phone call or a video call with her, well, a learning support teacher at school. They want to make sure they're supporting special education needs children and families, which I think I'm very grateful for. We've been assigned like a learning support teacher who just had a video call with Freya today for the first time, lasted half an hour and it was really nice. It has to be in a communal area can't be in a private room so I kind of was walking in and out just to show that I was there. She was talking about games and Mario Kart and um, her lessons and her friends so it was really nice. She was smiling so it was really nice to see her like really happy and just talking Mama. to somebody that isn't me. I'm yeah. Okay we need to go get some shots on. We are gonna head out for a walk now and get some fresh air. It's very cold so definitely fresh air. <laughs> Over. Hey! couldn't get the kettlebells this morning I forgot to say but he did manage to get some resistant bands he's got some medium to heavy resistant bands and some light to medium so um I was just using these Eva actually put some on too which was nice and we just did a pop sugar workout um pop sugar on YouTube is literally the only workout where I burn like at least 100 calories each time I do it I think I burnt like 120 this time so it really makes me sweat I really love their dance workouts and like the cardio workouts that they do but I typed in pop sugar fitness bands or I think that's called that resistance bands and followed a 30 minute one of those and I literally I feel so shaky now so I'm going to go and do some dinner for everybody I have no idea what it's now quarter to six I keep leaving it so late and then the girls end up going to bed late but anyway home learning was done and uploaded on time which was good um having a few issues with Freya this evening but we're going to try and just battle on through with that one and yeah it's been a big tough old week it's probably just hitting her even though she's done a really good job this week what a week it has been. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am actually going to go downstairs now with hubby and we've been watching The Fall on Netflix. We're a little bit late to the party with that one. Um, really enjoying it. We're just about to start season three tonight and sign off for today's video. I will see you all again on Wednesday. I hope you are all staying healthy and safe. And yeah, thank you so much for being here this year and watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. Just a little note, you can actually join my channel now. I'm going to try and do a monthly live for members only so if you want to join um i think there is links below that you can go and um click or just click on my profile and there's a little join button so yeah i'd love if you could join me um i'm not sure i understand
Siri doesn't understand. But I'll see you all next week on Wednesday at nine o'clock.